And the next story just happened yesterday. And just to set the scene, uh, I think we've gone into this a little bit before, but Elon Musk, uh, owner of Tesla and SpaceX, who produced the, uh, the Falcon 9 rocket, which is at least the first stage is recoverable, their next big project is called the Big Falcon Rocket. And it's, uh, or whatever else you want BFR to stand for. Um, and so it's going to be this huge, huge uh, launch vehicle that's actually more capable than the Saturn V was during Apollo. Um, and the, uh, the two parts are the super heavy booster and the Starship. And uh, the Starship is going to be designed to carry multiple dozens of people, ultimately, um, and both pieces to land vertically. And uh, one of their, their goals, this is one of the, the Starships, is to, in the next uh, three or four years, to actually be able to land people on the moon with uh, Starship and bring them back, and then eventually to uh, do the same thing for Mars and actually build a, a sustainable uh, outpost on Mars. And uh, this is just a, a nicer view of this. So here's Starship, here's the, uh, the super heavy booster, and here's the two of them stacked together. And one of the uh, other thoughts they've had is that, gee, you could do a suborbital flight on the Earth and just go from point A to point B in half an hour, um, you know, going to the opposite side of the globe. So this is a, a, a little uh, promotional video of the, uh, the Starship transport from New York to uh, wherever else you'd like to go. Shanghai, I guess. Okay, so that's a plan. <laughs> and here's where we are as of yesterday. And so this is the first test vehicle for this whole uh, project. It's called the Star Hopper. And uh, give you an idea of the scale here, it's got a single methane, liquid, liquid methane, liquid oxygen engine. So essentially liquid natural gas and liquid oxygen are what it will burn. And uh, this, a la what they did with the Falcon 9, back then they had a vehicle called the Grasshopper, which was essentially a, a reduced scale uh, first stage of the Falcon 9, and they used that to take off, hover, translate off to the side, and then land to test all of the the hardware and software that they need to do. 
And so this also has been dubbed the flying water tower. Again, just for scale, uh, here's a couple of workmen uh, at the base of this. And so yesterday was uh, the second test flight of this. A couple weeks ago, they did the first one. They, they went up about 18 feet, uh, six meters. They moved sideways uh, a couple of uh, tens of meters and sat down. But uh, yesterday, the goal was to get up to 150 meters, so about uh, 500 feet, and translate off uh, multiple hundreds of feet and land again. And so this is, uh, I guess it was about uh, 4 p.m. Okay, well, I'll leave it long enough so you can actually believe that it's still there. <laughs> so, it worked. And uh, this is uh, Elon Musk's favorite picture of the whole thing. He says uh, someday this will be happening on the sands of Mars. So, uh, that was the landing. So, that was successful. And uh, the intent now is to actually build one of these that has all seven of the rocket engines that would be in the in the space uh, the star ship and uh, fly that on a suborbital flight and then eventually into orbit within the next year and so this is being retired and uh, turned into a test stand for the uh, the rocket engines but I just wanted to show you a couple of uh, images that various people have uh, put out on blogs. I wasn't really around for 1950s bad science fiction movies, but this is what comes to mind when I think of them, is, uh, you know, it really does uh, look like something out of, out of science fiction. So, that's... Uh, that's where we are. That was just a really amazing thing to see, and I you know, will keep you updated. There's certainly going to be a series of these tests as they uh, proceed with, uh, with building the expanded hopper. <laughs>